guys, thanks for tuning in to another video episode on the Forgotten Weapons Library. I'm Ian, and today I have what I think is the most specialized book that we've yet looked at here. It's entitled History Writ in Steel, German Police Markings 1900 to 1936. And if that's not a specialty topic, I don't know what is. But I have to say there's actually a lot more depth to this book than I was expecting when I first took a look at it. Uh, of course, the topic is police-marked weapons from Germany uh, from 1900 until uh, shortly before the Second World War began because there are a lot of, to the layman, very cryptic police markings found on primarily pistols but also rifles and bayonets and holsters and accessories uh, that were owned and used by German police units. The organization of police forces in Germany during this time period was quite complex and the markings are heavily abbreviated and, and to a person off the street, it's extremely, well, shoot, it's impossible to tell what a specific marking means. Well, Donald Mouse, the author of this book, uh, encountered this problem himself when he inherited a Luger from his uncle who had been in World War II, and it had police markings on it, and he tried to find out what they meant and ran into quite a bit of difficulty. And I think as a typical engineering sort of guy, he kind of went overboard and learned everything there is to know about the subject, and wrote it up as a book. So let's take a look inside, and you can see what I mean when I say there's a lot more depth than you might anticipate from the title. So this is a fairly large hardback book. It's a little over 350 pages. A lot of pictures, most of them pretty good. Um, occasionally, of course, you can't get an excellent picture of a particular marking, so uh, you do have to contend with that. Right off the bat, uh, the very first section is a listing of all the police markings, uh, the unit that they match, uh, the state that they were in, and it's just general description of, of what the unit was. So it's really cool. That's right there, very first thing you find in the book. So very easy for reference if you just want to look up a particular marking after you've read through a couple times. Um, moving on, in the, the early couple of chapters, we have a history of the German police. There's an overview of the different weapons that were used by different German police units. Um, a variety of, of pistols that had been available in Germany at the time. Mausers, um, Orkies, Langenham, Dreises, Mauser, other Mausers. Um, there's quite a variety. And all of these have been found with different police markings. So, moving on, we have a little more history here. Um, description of the organization of German police at the time. Uh, quite a lot of detail. And then the main section of the book goes through uh, individual areas of Germany and discusses the different police units that were um, active in each one. And when e each different unit marking is discussed and all of the, the examples of firearms or other uh, implements that had those markings that the author's been able to find are discussed in detail. And there's a lot of, there are a lot of instances where there were uh, interesting details or just different things going on with a specific police unit. And uh, the author does a good job of discussing each of those in detail. So uh, there are a number of charts like this that I find rather interesting. Um, this is uh, black being Lugers and red being other handguns. The, the quantity that are recorded compared to the, the number of men in the unit and the location. So there are a number of charts like this that do a really good job of putting different types of data in perspective that we really like to see. So this of course continues on with all the different areas of Germany. So police markings on German guns is not something everybody's going to be looking for, but it's really cool that there is a resource like this out there for those of us who do want to find out. Um, if you have uh, one or more pistols or bayonets or other items that have German police property markings on them, this is definitely something you should take a look at. Uh, there's a lot of great history of exactly what was going on with these items, with these guns, and where they came from. So. This is available directly from the publisher, uh, Simpson Limited, and we'll have a link there in the notes below. Thanks for watching.